Would you share your Amazon wish list, or is that rude? Isn't that what it's for? Well, I thought it was, but my friends have a new philosophy on this. I don't know. uh, I got to tell you, it depends on who the gift is coming from and what you expect. Should you share your Amazon wish list with your significant other? Okay. Explain to me what an Amazon wish list is because I have no idea what it is. Oh, okay. Um, An Amazon wish list is exactly what it sounds like. It's all the things on Amazon that you would like. It's almost like um, it's the same thing as like a um, a wedding registry. It's a it's like a, a gift registry for you for Christmas, for your birthday. Whenever anyone has to buy you a gift, they can just go to your Amazon wish list and they can you know you could share it with people. That way, if somebody has to buy you a gift, they could be like, "Oh, she needs a new pair of AirPods. Let me get her those." Or, "Oh, she likes these leggings. Let me get her those." And you put a bunch of things on at different price points, like seven ninety nine to. $199. That way when people buy you gifts, they have a choice if they want to just get you like a little something or if they want to get you something in the middle. Like they know you've told them basically what you want. Okay. So it's, it's, so, like, it's like a wedding registry. It's a personal wedding registry. So you have to send me the link to it. Right. I just can't go to Amazon and look up Cooper Lawrence and find your your list. Well, mine's private, so I don't. I think you can do that with some people. You can go on and find their list. Mine's on private, so I would have to send you an invitation for mine. Okay. Have you done that? Sent an invitation? Yeah, of course. Oh, you have? Yeah. So when your mom says, what do you want for Christmas, you just send her a link. Here's my Amazon wish list. Oh. Pick something up of here. See, I thought it was something that I would have to know you... You know, I would have to go in there and search for Cooper Lawrence and then look at all the stuff that you want. But if you have to send me a link, that makes sense. Yeah, again, because mine's mine's private. But I think you can have a public wish list, which is what a lot of people have that way. People that, you know, in in a way it's kind of good. Like if I know that I want to get my friend Eric a gift, you know, I can just look him up and see what's on his wish list. And then it'll be like a surprise. Like, hey, look, how did she know? Oh, so they don't know? That you bought no, no, it? Well, no, no. Well, they well when it shows up, they know. But does it take it off? Let's say you have twenty five things on your wish list, and you looked at it in the morning, and now there's twenty four. Can you tell if somebody bought something and who it was? You have a choice on your Amazon wish list. You can set up a surprise, either surprise or a spoiler. Like you can either select purchased or unpurchased. Like there's filters on there. Mm-hmm. So let's say I have 20 things on my on my Amazon wish list. I can select that I don't want to know who bought me anything. I, I, I will see 19 things are on there instead of 20. But I, I might want to put on there, like, don't tell me who purchased it. Because, I you know, I want to be surprised. So it's kind of like a Santa Claus wish list for adults. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Uh, so instead of going and sitting on Santa's lap... You can just put your have your kids put it in the Amazon thing. Yeah, a lot of people. I'm surprised you don't know about this. Everybody has a, an Amazon wish list, and it's like all your stuff on there. That like, like I said, it's just a, it's a wide variety of price things. It's like I have stuff on there for nine ninety nine. I have like sweaters on there for nineteen ninety nine. Like if my mom wants to get me something off of there, so I've I probably have like two hundred things on my Amazon wish list at the <laughs> Do point. Do you really? <laughs> So you go well, on who how can you go on Amazon and not hit click and buy? I mean that's how can you say I hope I get this? I, I don't No no cuz no no there's stuff that I specifically put on my wish list. Like okay, so there was all those Instagram influencers that I used to follow. Now I've like unfollowed all of them, but those fashion ladies and they'd be like, "Oh, this is a sweater. It's $18 on Amazon right now. Well, let me get let me get that on my wish list." Mhm. So I'll go and put that sweater on my wish list and be like, you know what? I don't want to buy myself that sweater right now. Let me leave it on my wish list. That way, when somebody wants to buy it, it'll be there. But the problem is, I just went through recently um, because my mom was like, what should I get you? I'm like, I have boots on my wish list I really want. I put those boots on a really long time ago. They're no longer available. What if they're discontinued? Well, some of them are sold out. Some of them are out of stock. Some of them aren't sold anymore. Like that happens. So that's why I have so many things on my wish list. Because if those boots are gone, just go buy me something else. Uh, do you have more than one pair of boots? 
Probably. I haven't looked at my I haven't looked at my list in a while. <laughs> so you just keep continuously adding on to it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, well think about it. So everything you see in a store, like when you go shopping, do you buy everything you see in the store? No. You go in there, you look through, you're like, mm, nah, not that. Mm, maybe this. So it's the stuff that you're like, if I had all the money in the world, I would buy this sweater in four colors. But I don't. So I'm just going to buy it in black. And then, you know, if my mom wants to buy it for me in beige or white or red, it's up there. See, I don't, I, I only go to a store if I'm buying something. I, you know, I don't look anywhere else. If I go to buy a pair of shoes, I go find that pair of shoes and leave. I'm, I'm not wasting time shopping. No, but it's not about wasting time shopping. Like, for example, there's a pair of Sorel boots that I really love. I already own them. I know what size I am. I know what the style is. And I know it comes in about eight different colors. So I bought myself the navy blue ones. I have the silver ones <laughs> on my Amazon wish list in case you or somebody in my life wanted to buy me a pair of Sorel boots. Oh. Because I, I really, I need a new pair. I've had these for about two years and they're already worn down because I like live in them. Mm -hmm. So I'd like a new pair and I'd like them in silver. How long have those boots been on your list? About a year. Wow, really? Yeah, since last winter. Well, last winter I bought the ones in blue. I was like, these are awesome. I'm going to put another pair on my wish list. Do you go in and clean it, clean up the list every now and then? Yeah, I do. I do. I go through like I, okay. it was one. I went through a series of. Um, uh, I went through this phase where I everything I wanted had some sort of leopard print on it, and now I'm just over it. Yeah. Like I have all these leopard print things. I'm like, I will die if somebody buys me something with leopard print. <laughs> I do not want any more leopard print. Yeah, Carol so Baskin ruined that. Yeah, exactly. She did. It's funny you would say that. She absolutely did. So I went through and I took out all my leopard print stuff. Yeah. See, you have to go in there and then delete that stuff because somebody like me will go in there and go, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy that and that. And then you get it. And it's like, B but it was on your list. Right. Yeah. No, I've gone through I've gone through my list and I've I've culled it down a little bit. I, thanks for reminding me. I got to go do that again. <laughs> but But here's my main question to you. Is that rude? Like, if you want to buy me a gift, should you just get me whatever you want to get me? Or should you get me something that's on my Amazon wish list that you know I want? I think if, if I knew about your Amazon wish list, then I would buy something off your Amazon wish list. But I didn't even really know those existed. Until just now? Until really. <laughs> I mean, I've heard people have it, but I don't know uh -huh. how to find it. I don't. There's not like a page when you go on Amazon, it says, here's all the wish list of people that you know. Right. So it's, you know, if I have to go searching through a website to find something, it's, it's too much trouble. No, well, that's why I've invited people in my life. Like, I'm not just going to send the link to any random person. Like the people in my life who regularly buy me stuff, like my parents, my boyfriend, I have a cousin that is always buying me gifts and she never gets me anything I want. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm sending her a link to my Amazon wish list. That's still kind of crazy because you're like sending the link saying, buy something for me now. Well, because I went through this whole thing with her where she was like, she sent me something. It didn't fit. Um, she's like, okay, could, do you mind returning it? Here's all the information. And I did. And she sent me something else. And I was like, uh, it's the wrong color. And. I was like, you know what? Just send me, just here's my Amazon wish list. Next, thank you. Next time you want to buy me a gift, just buy me something over here. Give me a, cal a candle or yeah. something that doesn't matter what size it is. And if you don't like it, you can send it back and they would never know. That's true, too. Oh, I can't tell you what I just did. <laughs> so um, I used to work at this other radio station, and the people I worked with had been there for many, many years. They're making a lot of money. So whenever they bought you a Christmas gift, it was something super expensive. You know, you always got great gifts from them. Mm -hmm. So this one dude that I really didn't like, um, he and his wife bought me this coach bag. And, you know, coach is like super expensive. Like the bag they bought me, it wasn't a giant coach bag. It wasn't like a big giant tote or anything. It was, but it was like a nice little coach bag. Mm -hmm. And they probably spent a, a few hundred bucks on it. But I'm not a coach girl. That's not really my thing. And I just, I don't know, there's something about this bag that just, I guess because it was from them. You know what I mean? I didn't want to be walking around with this Did bag. Did you ever and, use it at all? Well, so I never used it. And all the tags are on it. Uh -huh. It's wrapped in the coach paper. And it's in a little coach box. So my boyfriend had put some stuff on eBay. And I said, 
does coach stuff sell on eBay? He was like, yeah, yeah, coach does really well on eBay. I was like, here's a coach bag that I've had for years that I've never even touched. Like the tags were all on it. The gift receipt was in there. <laughs> like every, it was wrapped in coach paper. It was in a, a coach <laughs> box. Um, he put it up that very day. It sold for the price that you wanted. For the price that I wanted, exactly. Uh, I didn't have to negotiate. No, nothing. So, um, in the end, this coach bag that somebody very generously bought me as a gift, I just resold. So that's that's a good thing to do. If you get a present you don't like, put it on eBay. <laughs> And they'll never know. Yeah, I mean, I would say most of the stuff I have on eBay, it's, you know, new with tags. And the reason why it's new with tags is because it's all stuff people bought me that I didn't want. 